We weren't able to find any red valerian, but I hope this helps. Vixen star meowed, setting the herbs she had gathered on the forest floor in front of Clay. Oh, that's fine. Clay sifted through the pile with a paw, looking over the leader's findings. Bringing back something is better than nothing at all. We never know what could happen, so I'd like to be prepared. This is... this is nice. Vixen star sighed in relief. Well, that's good. Though I was thinking perhaps I should... She trailed off as she noticed Clay's attention was focused elsewhere, and she turned to see the life form of Sun Clan's deputy slipping through the underbrush. Fox Spring! Vixen Star called to the reddish brown she cat. This is a surprise. Is this a friendly late night visitation, or should I be concerned about any other lurking warriors in the shadows? It's all right. I was sent with a message. Fox Spring padded up to the Briar Clan cats, holding herself in as non threatening of a manner as possible while still maintaining her pride. Clay, Patchson has asked if you would be willing to meet with him at the Moonspring sometime soon. He wants to bring back the tradition of medicine cats meeting to commune with Star Clan. At the Moonspring, huh? Clay nodded a few times. That sounds nice. Sounds interesting. I have no idea where that is. I- I'll show you the way there soon, Vixen Star whispered. What? Oh. Clay blinked, apparently not having caught what she was saying before processing her sentence. Oh, sure. Okay. That sounds like a plan. Then I let Petra know you're coming, Fox Spring meowed. She began to turn to leave, but paused. Also, you should keep an eye out for Finch Dapple. Finch Dapple? Vixen Star frowned at the mention of the former Sky Clan deputy. Why? What happened? There's too many conflicting statements to know for sure. Fox Spring paused, choosing her words carefully. But ultimately, he's been deemed too volatile and dangerous to stay within Sun Clan. So, for the time being, he's been banished. Banished? Clay and Vixen Star exchanged a worried glance. Why? What'd he do? But Fox Spring just shook her head. I've already said too much. Just be warned. Hello everybody, Salty Sweet Run here, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge! And Tidestorm, you're moving. Hey buddy. I know it's a little dark here in Briar Clan's camp right now. That is because I have sent our Forest Spirit off to do some stuff. I decided, um, after everything that happened last episode, um... I was thinking about the fact that we still have a lot of herbs to collect, but it's also kind of a hassle to constantly send them out to all the other territories, while I also have to manage a bunch of the territories right close by. See, if they have a star on them, that means we own it, which means the plants will start dying. I've got a lot on my mind right now. Um, but I have been thinking a lot on all the sickness that's been happening so far in the game. Hang on, let me take a look at Tidestorm again, because, buddy, you look you actually look really cool in the lighting. Like, it's dark, but you still look really cool in this lighting. I'll probably have to, like, lighten this up until... I'll probably have to, like, see if I have, like, a decent enough filter to lighten everything up until the, um, spirit gets teleported back. But what I was thinking about is the fact that... Uh, there's still quite a few sick cats. I've already, um... The cats who've had a mild sickness that were already treated have now recovered because it's been midnight. Midnight has passed. The sick cats that had a mild cough now have just recovered. And that actually includes Duck Feather. Where are you, Duck Feather? You're actually sitting right up there. Hello, buddy. You are looking really cool. Now you can actually help out more with the hunting. So, that's good news. Um, we also still need to grab more herbs for Clay's allergies and Eagle Paw's pulled muscle. And I also want to start having the Medicine Cats meet up. That was what that whole thing was at, about at the start. Um, at In the books, what the, what the Clan Cats would do is they would meet up to share tongues with Star Clan at 
uh, the moon pool or the moonstone or the moon spring here, which I don't believe is functional at the moment. Oh no, the, the little spring is still there. Okay. So the clan cats will still be able to show up here. I'm also considering having them invite Red from the community, or at least one of the healers, even though the community is not a clan and does not believe in Star Clan, at the very least it's a good way of sort of sharing whatever news is going on over here. I'm mostly going to be having the Sick Cats avoid hunting today, actually, back at... Oh! You're about to be nuzzled by Tidestorm! That's so sweet! I have no idea where you are! You're not Fixin' Star, you're Duck Feather. I thought I had clicked on... I thought I'd hit Stuck Feather. I... Fixin' Star. There's Fixin' Star. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, you're about to be nuzzled by Tidestorm though, so... Okay. Tidestorm I haven't really had a lot to focus on. He's also still pretty sick, so I'll just let him slide. Once he's recovered, hopefully, he will be able to also help out. But part of the reason I'm going to start letting it slide when, um, now that I'm sending the Leaf Spirit off to, like, collect herbs from these places, because those are directly belonging to Briar Clan, I'm gonna let it slide that the, those are already in her inventory. We can still select from those when we are trading in stuff. Hopefully the fact that I'm not going to be sending the cats out as often will prevent the game from slowing down as drastically as it did last episode, because that was pretty crazy. It's fun to see all the other cats, and actually if you want to see more of any of those cats, please let me know, because that'll be fun. But, unfortunately, it is still a bit of a hassle. Like, it's a bit of a hassle trying to get my game to run smoothly. I'm actually wondering, are those cats still over there? Like, this- I still see all the shadows out there. They must still be out there. There's somebody over here as well. It's a little farther away, but there's some cat over here. I am curious... Violet! Ah, yes, Violet. I actually- between episodes, I did go in and edit her so her muzzle isn't as flat, which is, um... The person who submitted her said that she wasn't supposed to have such a flat muzzle. So I've edited that. Uh, there's cats that are on the move all over the place. It's gonna be interesting to see. Uh, yeah, this place is ours too. I almost forgot about that. I don't know if we have anything there that we can get. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. Part of the reason I'm starting to do this is because I've been having trouble balancing the sickness. And I think I was trying to say that at the start, and then I kind of got caught up in other stuff I was talking about. But yeah, I was, I've been really struggling to balance how sickness works. I'm sure you noticed, know like, already two cats have died. Another cat did actually roll a, what was supposed to be a fatal roll. But due to certain circumstances, is still alive, albeit really, ho really horribly injured. Still, it's really been getting to me. Okay, I really should find a way to stop that little pop up from happening with all the spirits whenever they get skills. Okay, mouse, uh, you are just hungry out here. I can't stop you from eating now, though, so you go and do that. Petal Spots is also off to go and eat, so I'm gonna go ahead and let them do that. Uh, Mouse, you are- you're already on your way to go and eat, but you just rolled the yellow. Okay. So there's a few things I'm gonna be doing to try and rebalance how sickness works until I kind of get my feet under me playing this game a little bit better. Um. One of the things is, um, I'm, whenever, if I do roll for a cat to actually become sick, like, not just, like, rolling to see if they're sick, but if, if I roll, like, yes, this cat is sick, any subsequent rolls for the rest of that particular episode, um, 
they would have to actually roll a little bit higher to also see if they're sick, because I like I can only handle so much at once, it gets to be a little overwhelming for me. And just with how many cats there are that are getting sick at once, that has been pretty crazy. I wonder if I can get a good picture of these guys on the move. Like, look at them. Petal Spots is actually no longer really a queen because her kits are now apprentices. She also does not have a mate currently. Uh, the cat that was her mate, Ravenstar, is deceased, but she doesn't have a mate here in Briar Clan. I do think she enjoys be she really enjoys being a mother is kind of what I think, but she's also a very aggressive cat, very focused on hunting. I think she's um I think she's the sort of cat who, yes, like she does take like she loves what she does as a warrior, but and she wants her kids to be successful. She wants to have a successful bloodline, I suppose. Which may be part of why she and, um... Okay, while you're here, Tidestorm, I'm gonna have you... Can you groom yourself? Yes, you can. I'm gonna have you groom yourself to get rid of those fleas. And I'll get rid of one of the broken bugs. Because we really need to get rid of those. Okay. Duck feather. in the meantime, you're guarding an object. Why don't you instead also go and get rid of your fleas over here? Or I'll go ahead and sell Ladybug. I'm gonna have you groom yourself and get rid of the fleas. And then I'm gonna have you do some hunting because now you are fully recovered, thankfully. So I'm gonna have you do that. But yeah, when a cat rolls- I was talking about sickness before and I got distracted by petal spots. When a cat rolls to be sick, um, any subsequent cats will have to roll a little higher to see if they're sick, actually. They have a higher chance of not rolling, I suppose? Um, it's just a temporary measure, measure until I can like figure out a better- um, like, better numbers for the generator, like, what a better percentage would be for, like, cats to have a mild sickness versus a moderate or a, or a, or just being completely healthy. And I also, there's another thing I should have been doing from the start, but if a cat has already been treated for their illness, they also get advantage on any subsequent rolls to see if their sickness gets worse, which I didn't do for Bubble Stream. I did not do that for Bubble Stream. And also, immediately after they recover from being sick, they cannot get sick for another day, is what I'm gonna say as well. Another day, maybe two days, especially with the same sickness, they should have like at least a temporary immunity. I'm gonna have to start doing this, but it's gonna be a little tricky for me to remember. I'm gonna let everyone continue moving because, oh look at you, you are- why do we get- those are from the bugs, okay. I was like, why did we get some money? It's just because of the bugs. Vixen Star is no longer in the yellow. You are eating a bug, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Tidestorm seems very content to just be grooming himself. Okay, Mouse. Uh, are you tired? You're not tired, but you do want to hang out with some of the other cats. You want to snuggle Eagle Paw. Speaking of Eagle Paw, you guys, are you guys in- they're in the nursery. Eagle Paw and Light Paw are both sleeping in the nursery. That is actually adorable. <laughs> oh, guys, you're not kids anymore. You're not kids. You don't need to sleep in the nursery, but you are so cute. I love them both so much, the way that they look. Oh my gosh. This is just... <laughs> okay. Eagle Paw, I still need to treat your pulled muscle. Uh, for that, we need Kona Beans, which, from what I recall, I'm pretty sure that Sun Clan has a ton of Kona Beans, so it'd be very good if they did like a bit of trading with Sun Clan to get those Kona Beans. 
Um, we need bumble leaf or buzzberry for clay because clay's got allergies. And we still need some valerian. Um, at least two stems of valerian each for bubble stream and tide storm. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just let the cats move. I keep saying, oh, I'm gonna let them move, and then I just pause. You are off to go and guard an object? Okay. I think... Because your cough is now back down to a mild cough, I think you you will are allowed to help with the hunting. But if there's any more broken prey... Yep, there is. Let's actually have you before you do anything. Why don't you groom yourself? And we will sell a trilobite beetle. And you can do, like, two hunting. One, two. I'll let you do two of it. So while you're grooming yourself, we'll get rid of those fleas. So good to get rid of fleas. You're off to go and snuggle with your kit. Oh, go snuggle the kit. Yes, let's go see you snuggle the kit. Come on. Which kit? Is that birch kit? Go snuggle birch kit. You do want to snuggle birch kit, it says. Yes, let's snuggle birch kit. They're getting into the bed with little birch kit. It's so cute. Look at that. Just kind of settling down. Aww. I think mouse animation froze. I genuinely don't know if it's supposed to be frozen like this or not, but I think Mouse just froze. Anyway... Oh, 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 Mouse is moving! Mouse is moving! <gasps> Look! <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, yes! Oh my goodness, look! That's so cute. Oh, Mouse. Little Mouse and Birch Kit. I love them. I love them so much. Oh, I also checked it off for Sand Kit as well, it looks like. Anyway, Clay is asleep. Vixen Star, also asleep. Duck Feather, currently out hunting. Great job, Duck Feather. Stop that. Okay, cars are gone, if there were any cars or vehicles. Um, so we don't really have a whole ton going on. Oh, you're going after a bug of some sort. Okay, that's that's good for the adults. We've got how many kits? One, two, three, four, five, six kits. We need at least six real pieces of prey today, because look, that's not going to cut it for the kits. The kits can't eat bugs. Mouse is just snuggling with the baby. Does that improve your social? Oh, oh, your social's going down? Your social's still going down even though you're snuggling with your baby? You wanna nuzzle with your kit? Sand kit? How does that- I'm gonna- I'm gonna cheat that up just a little bit, cause I feel like it would do something for your social, like snuggling with your baby? How is that not helping with your social need? Okay, Clay's asleep, Vixen Star's asleep, Petal Spots is hunting down a rat, and she caught it! Good job! Somebody can eat that rat. I'm getting lost in the dark. Dark's not fun. Hopefully a kit will eat that, because the grown-up cats can eat the bugs, but the kits cannot. Did Duck Feather catch... No, you did not. When Mouse wakes up, they will be able to help hunt as well. When Light Paw wakes up as well. You want to sniff Bramble Kit? That's cute. Hey, little Bramble Baby. You're just laying down. Are you not awake? 
you're just lying down? You don't want to get out of bed? Maybe not? Oh, little Bramble Kit. I do love Bramble Kit. Let's see, Bramble Kit is neat and independent. Bramble Kit kind of likes to be on their own, I guess. I do not like how dark it is. It's so hard to see what's going on. Let's see, you have a new friend. Who's your new friend? Oh, it's Vixen Star. You and Vixen Star are friends now. After that conversation. Uh, speaking of kits that need to wake up, Mouse Kit. Mouse Kit is also asleep in the nursery. I, I feel so bad for Mouse Kit because they were closest to Vine Claw, and Vine Claw is dead. I just feel so bad. Like that it. Like, what happened, happened, but, like, <sighs> it could have gone better. I, I still feel really bad about all the sickness that happened. I really need to tone it down. I need to, I'm scared of what Leaf Bear will bring if I didn't, if I didn't have all these rules I'm trying to, like, put into place now. Leaf Bear probably could have just wiped everyone out. And like, yeah, it's like their first leaf bear, their first real challenge, but duck feather called a ladybug. I don't think... I don't think a ladybug is going to feed really anyone, but... Uh, once it actually lets me pick up the ladybug... Should do so in a little bit. There we go. Somebody can eat that ladybug. Lightpaw can eat that ladybug. In fact, once Lightpaw... Lightpaw, you're a, you're awake enough, yeah? Okay, I, should I roll for Lightpaw or did I already... Okay, I'm probably gonna roll for Lightpaw and I'm going to roll for Mouse Kit. Hang on. Okay, yeah, they're both fine. I'm gonna have Lightpaw wake up and come and eat this. So why don't you do that? You still have a bit to go. You're not hungry, actually. Your your mood is brought down because of... Someone's hissing. Someone's hissing. Is that... Uh, it's not you. Let's see, Light Paw, you're awake. Eagle Paw? Was it you, like, in your sleep? You've got a lot to do, though. You've got to take care of yourself. Somebody would... Oh! Bubble stream and tide storm. What? I feel. Did, I feel like it was these two somehow. So you want to sniff cobalt? Cobalt's not here. Let's see. I think. I think it was just like rejected interaction between the two of them. I don't think it was like anything malicious that I can see. Yeah, they they don't hate each other. It was probably just a rejected interaction. Why don't I have you guys socialize? Let's just kind of like smooth that over. Like say, oh sorry. I noticed Tide Storm's been trying to nuzzle cats recently. Not sure why. Uh, we'll just let you take care of that. Um, let's see, Light Paw. Now that Lightpaw is awake, I kind of wonder, will she try and do some hunting on her own, or will she want to wait for Vixen Star to wake up? I feel like she'll want to go out and try to learn to hunt. She doesn't really have a ton of hunting skill, and she's just learning. I'm looking at the wrong cat. Uh, she, don't, she only has one point in the hunting skill, so she's just learning. But we'll send her out, like, for a little bit. Eagle Paw just... Uh, you already have a pulled muscle. Can't really add stack in stack injuries and illnesses on top of each other. You should only have one thing going on at a time. So Eagle Paw. Uh, you just gotta take care of yourself. We need We just need to heal you, that's all. You need Kona beans, which we don't have. You really wanna learn the hunting skill, but you can't currently. 
Oh, there goes Sandkit. Okay, Vixen Star, you're not yet awake. Tide Storm, you're chatting. Petal Spots is off to go and scratch a tree. Vixen Star, I'm just, just clicking between all of the cats. Duck Feather, good job. Let's get, let's put this into the fresh kill pile, so that somebody can eat it. Oh, one of the kids is eating the mouse, the rat. Good. All right. Light Paw, Light Paw gained the hunter trait. Good job. And oh. Oh, you're gonna have to catch like you're like sneaking through the brim the brambles. <gasps> I need to get a picture of this. Look at you, Light Pie. I feel like is just taking off in terms of being a hunter. Oh my goodness, look at this. She is like. Please catch it. I want to see you catch it. Come on. Let's catch it! You can get it! Oh, Clay called a red ear- I don't think I had Clay ha hunting. Hmm, interesting. At the very least, I can start having Clay, like... Oh, you got, a, you got a chip bag. Never mind. I'm sorry, sweetie. But Clay called the turtle. So, let's go ahead and put Clay's turtle in the fresh kill pile. We do have cats that can hunt now. Is no, that's that's bubble stream. Clay, did you catch a turtle like right out here? Did the turtle get into the camp? It's actually kind of funny. Okay. Anyway, speaking of Clay, you need to do some herb gathering. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna have you stalk for prey three, uh, five times out here. Everything you catch. This time, I, like, there's no keeping whatever he catches. Like, if it's food, we can't, like, say it. In exchange for, like, the herbs that are in other territories nearby. Like, they might be nearby territories. But we can't keep... But, um, since we're not there... We are just having Clay do some uninterrupted hunting. Everything that... Everything that he catches has to be traded in. Regardless of it, if it's food or something else. Regardless of if it could like benefit us in the long run. Like, oh, it's a plasma bug. We still have to trade it in. That is my trade-off. Birch kit. Ah, you're trapped. That's right. That's the downfall of the snuggle. The snuggle is adorable. But can have not so good consequences. And I think something got knocked down upstairs. I got a roll for a birch kit now. Thanks a lot, mouse. Okay. Well, as cute as this image may be, it is, uh, I'm not surprised. Birch kit's getting a little overly stressed lately. It is, it is stress. It can be managed. But, uh, mouse, why don't you actually wake up and let your baby go? And in the meantime, we need to get some chamomile or lavender, whatever clay has available. Duck feather? Good job! You're catching a lot of turtles lately. I guess that turtles... You're about to be pounced on... Who hissed at who? I see Petal Spots is being hissed at by Tidestorm. Huh. These two are not getting along. That's right, they're enemies! Uh, I gotta keep an eye on them because sometimes immediately after... Okay. They're just going their own separate ways, okay. Sometimes immediately after is when, like, the fight breaks out. Eagle Paw is resting. Can't have aggravated their injury. Tidestorm, you go off and just kind of... Gently do your own thing. Bubble Stream can't really help with hunting, so she's just playing with a little ball. <gasps> There's Bramble Kit! I love little Bramble Kit. 
It is kind of weird that Bramblekit recognizes that Boulder is their father when they've never actually met Boulder. I might need to change that. I do wonder how are things between um, Bubble Stream and Boulder right now because oh little Bramble Kit I just love I love Bramble Kit look at them look at them they're so cute they're so round I love them they're so round I just love the way they look what's Sand Kid up to over here I'm just like, getting distracted by everyone you're off to go and pounce on Light Paw all right Fixin' Star is not quite awake yet, but will be soon, I'm sure. Okay, you're off to go and eat. Good. You go eat. Whatever clay catches, I have to remember. Uh, you tried to catch a snake. You tried to catch a yellow snake. I caught the tail end of that up here. I caught the tail end of you trying to catch a yellow snake. Do I roll for you catching a snake, or do I not count that because... Hmm... I'll do it with advantage, is what I'm gonna say. So give me a second. Alright, yeah. Clay is totally fine. So, you take care of that. Is that... Is that... That's Apple Kit over there. I saw the white side, I was like, oh, which kid is that? That's Apple Kit. The kits all look so different. Anyway, we can trade the feather right off the bat for Red Valerian is what you'd be most in search of, and you get three Red Valerian for that. So one, two, three. That is so good that we actually have that. I feel like she's probably gonna lose all of this when we switch to a different group. I'm trying to think of when I'm gonna when I'm gonna switch. I think I have more time to do so. Fix and star, you you're closer to being awake. It is late enough in the day. You are the leader. I'm gonna have you wake up. And uh, why don't you do your own thing for just a little while? I think. Or. Yeah, I'm gonna have you groom. Here. I'm gonna have you groom at first. Other cats are in the middle of hunting, so I'll just have you groom yourself and get rid of the fleas. Get rid of the cockroach over here. But we do have more red valerian, which is a lifesaver. We can start treating all the other cats, but we're gonna probably stock up on even more Red Valerian just in case as well. Little birch kit getting all the food. Eating that turtle. Okay, I don't care about that. Okay, leaf. Birch kit is adorable. I do love the way the kits look. Is little kit it just hit me, is little kit bigger than birch kit? Like, Little Kit is a runt. Little Kit is supposed to be the runt. Are you, like... I'm gonna have to see these kits when they get, like, next to each other. Okay. Little Kit is supposed to be the runt, but... Okay, maybe Little Kit is smaller. Or maybe not. I genuinely can't tell. Little Kit is supposed to be the runt. I know I did resize Little Kit when they were born. Huh. Um... You know, I have no idea. Uh, maybe you are the run still. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, you're supposed to be the runt. I did roll for you to be the runt. If you're not- if you're not smaller than your litter mates, I may have to adjust that again, cause that is what you are supposed to be, is the runt. Anyway, um, everyone is actually doing pretty good right now. Duck Feather is done hunting. Heddle Spots is um, hissing at bubble at Bubble Stream. Why? 
play is called the Spiny Turtle, which we have to trade away. Oh, come on. Turtle spots, why? Okay. Is anything gonna happen? You guys are good? Okay, they're all- they're going their separate ways. Okay, I have to keep an eye on that when that happens. Okay, let's sell the turtle. There's a lot of turtles in the- in the territory today. I'm not entirely sure why. Let's see, we'll get another three red valerian. Because that is gonna be our main priority. And after that, um... Let's see... Chamomile will probably want. I don't see Kona beans anywhere. There's a lot of stuff we should probably take a look at at some point. Hmm. Okay, Vixen Star, you are scratching a tree. I see light, huh? Okay, I think Vixen Star, why don't you come over here and chat with um? Come here and chat with your apprentice, and um. After that, I'm probably gonna have her pounce you. Eagle Paw is off to go and eat. Oh, Light Paw! Light Paw did want to sniff Bramble Kit, right? At least that's what I saw before. Light Paw is interested in everybody. She's super sweet. She's hyper, a hunter, and independent. So, who over here is playing? There's- I can't see, I'm trying to like rotate my camera. Oh, it's Mouse and Bubble Stream. Speaking of Mouse, I think that now that Mouse is awake, let's have- her, let's have them do some hunting as well. See, your social is at a decent enough level, I think you can. So let's have you stalk for prey three times. We don't need you doing it too much. Vixen Star, I'm gonna have you hang out over here. Pedal Spots is hanging out with one of the kids, actually, it looks like. Oh, Eagle Paw. What are you doing, buddy? Okay. Is somebody doing some hunting, like, right over here? Uh, what? Did you catch something over here, Tidestorm? You caught a maple leaf, apparently. Well, I'm sure that maple leaf is good and dead now. Pillsbots really is good with the kits. Like, she might have some of her issues with, like, she might get fed up with them from time to time, but she really is good with them. I am starting to wonder, what are we gonna do for, like... Uh, two of our adult cats already have apprentices. And then there's only so many left. And we have six kids that need apprentices as well. So why don't you go ahead and actually pounce a couple times. And get that, get that hunting level up. Oh, you want to socialize with Duck Feather? That's nice. Oh, are you playing with your baby? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay. In the meantime, you, we're gonna trade away that colorful feather in exchange for. We have some chamomile. So let's go ahead and take some of this chamomile and give it to Clay. So one, two, three. I think also at the end, whatever's left, I'm just gonna trash half of it, which sounds like a waste, but I, I do wanna balance this all out somehow. I need to figure out how to balance everything. It's I'm trying to simplify things, but, like, everything has to come at a cost. If I make something easier, it has to also come at some sort of a cost, but... Oh, 
Oh, you're off to go and stalk for prey? Within the- is there like something in the nursery you're trying to track down? Because you are hanging out in the nursery. Mouse is called a chipmunk. So, Mouse, the chipmunk is right here. We're actually getting some decent prey today. That's great. Hopefully, little mouse kids will be okay. You are hissing at. Are you hissing at Sand Kit? Why are you about to hiss at Sand Kit? There's Apple Kit. I think that's Apple Kit. Little Kit? All of all the kids are out here. Look at this, this. There's just a little cluster of kids out here. Why are you guys all out here? I think this is pretty close to where uh, Sycamore Kids' mushrooms were. I wonder if that's actually what's going on. This is very close to where the mushrooms were. I think. I could be very wrong. But I wonder if, uh, I wonder if Mouse Kid is, like, telling them, Hey, don't you know that this is where another kid died? Like, that could be hissing. It could be, like, a, saying it in a very mean way, but I do think... With all these kids scattered here, it's not just singling out one kid. It's probably... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna zoom out a bit. I want to make sure... Yeah, there they are. Right over here. Glow orbs technically aren't supposed to be poisonous, but I guess... But, like, I did roll that was food poisoning that killed, so I... And and Sycamore Kid had been right around here. I, I always try and, like... At the time I was using the environment to try and tell what might have done it. And the story just kind of told itself. Little Kit. Oh, and Sand Kid is hissing right back. Oh, little sand kit. Do you get along with... You do not get along with mouse kit. Interesting. It's kind of fun, actually. I do wonder how mouse kit's gonna fit in. I've always mentioned that. Like, oh, mouse kit doesn't really... Oh, ma and sand kit hissed right back. It's really interesting seeing how all the cats interact. It's kind of fun. You are asleep. That's okay, Pedal Spots. You want to playfully pounce your daughter? Uh, okay, I guess that she's done, but she is friends with Vixen Star. Clay, you're not supposed to. Uh, we can't really trade whatever that was, can we? You're gonna have to stay out here and stock for prey again. Snail thing caught. Snail thing's not here. Why am I seeing snail thing? Good for snail thing, I guess. Or no, I guess we know for a fact that some clan is actually getting some food. What are you two doing? You're off to go and hiss at bu Bubble Stream. Why? In the meantime, Sand Kit was gonna go and play, but stopped. It's very interesting seeing what everyone's up to. I do think... Okay, go and eat, yeah. You go eat. I think next time I'm going to have to have Clay, um... Maybe not next time, because it's the middle of the day. But it is pretty important that uh, at some point you need to go and get some trade for some Kona beans or something. Wait, were you not able to catch anything? Great. Well, we can trade away the colorful feather for something. Uh, how about some skin sing? There's Maui beans. What do Maui beans do? I actually don't know. Let's take. One, two, three Maui beans. I'll have to check between episodes and see what they do. But anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here. I'm still wondering about the rogues from last time. Do you think any of them will join? I'm wondering when I should start to properly introduce the marsh cats. I've got some stuff in mind for them because 
That is gonna be fun. I really hope that they're very warmly received. That episode has not actually gone up at all yet. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed watching this episode, please go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe, and I will see you guys all in the next episode. Stay safe out there, friends.